Oh, you're not even funny. Fuck off. You're <laughs> 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 serious. <laughs> Watch this bit. I hated that. That was the fucking worst thing I've ever seen. Good afternoon, morning, evening, or night, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Jar Media Podcast, episode 169. Thank you to the patrons at Patreon for supporting the show. And the, hello, guys. How are we doing this fine morning? Good afternoon. That's hello, the sex number. What? Oh. Yeah. Wow! That's mouth sex number. Are you going to elaborate on that, or are you just going to say some comment that's not true, because it's 169? Not 69. We're 100 episodes into it. How are we doing today, ladies and gentlemen? We're more than 100 episodes into it. I know. <laughs> 169 episodes But if you it. add 100 to 69, you get 169. Which is so episode we're on. 100 episodes into the 69 episode. If that makes sense to you, makes sense to me. It doesn't make me. sense to anyone. Because <laughs> it's not right. It it's makes no fucking no, sense at all. That's basic maths. Plus one number of another. And you get a number. So how are we doing today? You know. Pretty fresh. Feeling fresh. Feeling alive. Feeling alive. I'm feeling fresh. I'm feeling supremely fresh. Like you got diarrhea. I kind of do, though. Same. Because, well, I had, I had KFC yesterday, McDonald's for breakfast, Burger King for dinner. You know, I'm living that life. So you're a picture of health, then? Yeah. The selfie, no, but I have salad at the same time. Oh, right. Okay, In that between makes it each, healthy. I have a salad. And I, I, I've never been healthier. I take my vitamins. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. I'm <laughs> I'm doing good in life. And that's what we want. So what have you been up to recently, boys? Uh, Jim and I went to London this last week. You have. It's been a very sad week because I haven't played any Rainbow Six. I've just been, you know, in bed crying every day because I haven't uh, <laughs> had my bros. So Family reunion happened in London, which was pretty crazy. And I've been told that you were moody the entire time. Me? Yeah. No. You were a moody boy. The... Okay, I never said he was moody the entire time, just for a brief moment. Alex uh, was moody. Oh, his Lego order was delayed. I didn't actually buy any Lego. You didn't? No. Nope. You went to London, you didn't buy any Lego. Went in the Lego shop, of course, but well, there was, of course you there was nothing to take my fancy. You're, you're just trying to flex with your Lego points to all the cashiers. Well, speaking of Lego, um, last episode I posed the challenge to the Jarlings out there. To see if they could find my new Lego channel that I haven't promoted anywhere. Uh, within a few hours, it was found. It's it's a very predictable name as well. Is it? That's like, you. if you think of a Lego <coughs> channel that I, I hate everything would make, you'd think, I build everything. But nobody thought that. Until no, I Lego found. everything. No. Yeah. That, doesn't, that doesn't make sense, though. So I build everything makes sense. But with that name, you've also opened up for the rest of Jarmesia to also throw in their creations. Jamie no. could do his I build Dark Souls classes. Oh, that's going to work. Oh, James builds helicopters. You know, that's going to work. Everything can work. Now. James builds tanks. Helicopters. Build exactly. That's that. You've opened Jar up to the greater community, and that is fantastic. Well, I haven't done that. No. It's you a selfish project. Well, if me and Jim steal the details and log in, it's not so... You know. So I've got my second video in the works. It's pretty exciting. I did you, watch. Is IHE just ditched now? Is it over? Forget about it. Yeah, it's all about Lego. Can go in the fucking dumpster as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> <coughs> can suck my balls. I did actually watch. Them, anyway. I watched the first video for about one minute. And I just saw you. Uh, this is my Lego room. Um, you can see my shelves. Uh, I originally bought them for my Kia, and then. Uh, mm -hmm. And I was just like, "Wow, I'm so proud." And then I just turned off the video. I didn't see any more. So, so you're so horrible. No, basically. I'm so proud so of you Alex's just brought passion. It up so you can make fun of me then. No, I'm not making fun of you. I love That's your nice. Lego. But what's what's the next video in the works? 
I'm so well, you're just going to have to tune in and find out, everybody. When's it out, then? Well, I don't know. You can't pressure me. It's all recorded. And there is excitement, let me tell you. Oh. Are you going to start doing, like, um, your own custom builds? Like... No. You're not? No. So you're not going to do, like, a Lego Argy? I don't think so. You just need to let us all down there, Alex. I was looking forward to that. Now, if we go back to this London thing, because we've done the Lego, congratulations now. Boo. Well done. Going back to the Lego thing. You, you just said, let's go back to the London thing, and then you said, let's go back to the Lego Because of the thing. Lego thing. Going back to London, <laughs> instead of going and spending money in the Lego shop, I instead went to uh, an Apple store. <laughs> Something James hates equally. I, no, I don't hate the, that. The, the main reason I own every one of my Apple products is because I know how much it's going to annoy James. You just said you literally bought your Apple Watch just to annoy me. And the yeah. moment I saw it, I was just like, is that an Apple Watch? Cool. I had no reaction to it. No, you, you cringed. I did not. I don't... You can you can buy Apple products. It doesn't bother me. <laughs> it's your money. <laughs> right. Hey, no, 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 no. You, you're... You thinking I ate Apple products is incorrect. Because I've got the best Apple product ever made. And that's an iPad that's lasted. What it's, gen? It's a first gen iPad and it's lasted <laughs> since since then. Is it really the first gen? Yeah. It was the first ever. Yeah. Really slow now. No. It pops up every day saying this has iPad hasn't been updated in like uh, 150 weeks. Okay. But it still right, works. Right. And I, I, I like that. There's enough, There's not a company better than old Apple. It's when they, their products became really bad. So I don't like them. Like the product that Alex got at the... Uh, Apple store. Apple store. What did you get at the Apple store? Guess. I'm, I'm not saying. Well, it's, Alex it's has... pretty Alex, obvious. Let's, I'm going to go through the, the things that I know Alex owns. The mini, iPad mini. The iPad extra large. Yeah. Not a normal iPad. Apple Watch has, has like owned every iPhone. That's not true. Got the you got the chargeable tech. You've got the pen. You haven't had the keyboard and mouse yet. No, you've got the keyboard. <laughs> no one cares about which Apple products I own. No, Point I'm just is. going through because you're you're an Apple fan. No, you are a hardcore Apple fan. You literally buy Apple everything. No, I'm not. If I was that hardcore, I'd edit my my videos on one, but I don't. I have oh, no, a PC. Because because bec you you only have a PC because torrenting is easy on that PC, and that's why. You've got it. That's not true. You used it's to video all editing. The time. And isn't that better on an Apple product? I That's why all the I pros use it. The, it made no sense to me to get one of those like big Apple uh, computers because yeah, yeah. they're so overpriced. And back when you started doing YouTube, I don't think you wanted to I go. I just needed a five. video rendering machine that and could you, run. You know, Adobe products nicely, and that's what I have. I find um, Windows-based stuff is normally way easier to use as well. Well, yeah, I've been using it since the <coughs> '90s, so yeah, exactly. Whereas I'm used to it, learning the operating system. I like having my hands dipped iOS, a bit into yeah. both, though, so I'm not completely out of my element if I'm on a different machine. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, Apple is shit. Yeah, going back to what the actual point of this story was supposed to be is that I think Apple stores might be the worst shops ever made. Well, I've never been in one, so explain to me what what about it is so like different but from everything else. Is is the Apple store we experienced that, how Apple stores yes. are? Because I swear I've been to one in Bath where they just have a counter and you pay. No, really. That's the genius well, I've bar. I've never bought anything from an Apple store, so. No, that's what I'm saying. <clears throat> if you want to buy something, you want to walk around aimlessly for ages until you find someone who works there who's not busy with someone else. And you go, hello, I'm after blank. Can I please buy blank? And chances are they'll say, oh, you're going to have to find someone who can actually deal with this. May I direct you to my colleague over there? So then you you passed on to another colleague who apparently can sell you things. But at this one in London, they were like, let me just add you to the virtual queue. 
bit bat boom on, on their fucking <laughs> iPad. And then it was like, right, what's your name? Uh, Alex. Right, A-L-E-X. Into the iPad it goes. Right, if you just stand over there, we will be with you shortly. And then you just the fucking fuck? stand there for so long. Until this stranger comes over to you and they're like, Are you Alex? Let me shake your hand. Glad doing business with you, my friend. <laughs> what would that, What would you like? And I'm just holding the box. The just, empty display box. Yeah. Can I buy these things, please? All right. Bear with me a minute. <laughs> and then he goes off to go to like a drawer that they keep them in and gets one. And then brings it back and then finally is able to buy it on like this little machine thing they carry around. Whole process takes something like half an hour, probably. That is so, like some dystopian, like fucking society. Like you got put it onto a virtual. It's so queue. snobbish. Yeah, it's bullshit. It sounds ridiculous. It's like, the worst shop setup of all time. Like uh, on the Apple Store app, um, if you go on it, it's like, hey, buy things from within the store with with the app, so you don't have to mess around in the store. So I was like, cool, I'll just do that. But the product I wanted didn't have any actual retail versions on the shelves because they're worth too much, so they have no barcodes on them. So you couldn't even scan anything and pay for it on the app anyway. Sounds terrible. That's the type of sh store I wouldn't want to go in because I just get really um, like anxious when I go into shops and I have to have a confrontation with that stuff. So I would not shop in there. Sounds terrible. I don't, yeah, I don't know what their thought process is. Just keep them in the store as long as possible and frustrate them to no end. Yeah, so they never want to come back and buy more stuff. Great business plan. I mean, it must be working. Them geniuses are up to something. <clears throat> the thing is, that it, when you're in a position like Apple is, it, nothing has to be good apart from the, the um, whatever you're buying. Mm -hmm. The product. Because, like... The, People don't even necessarily buy an iPhone because it's the best thing on the market. No, of they buy not. an iPhone because it's an iPhone. Yeah, they're what the most profitable company or something in the in the world. Is that right? Probably. They're up there. It's crazy. What did you think Alex bought, James? Well, he's already given it away by saying it's the most expensive thing. What? No, I said it was just too expensive. To be on the shelves. Well, surely, if it's an iPhone X, surely they'll have a barcode on because they're so popular. And that's a thousand pound. I didn't buy a phone. No, but I'm, it's an example. No, right. you, you wouldn't be able to scan it because it's too expensive. But surely you'd be able to scan an iPhone X because it's their mate, it's their flagship thing. So they'd allow you to scan that. So it must no, be because what if someone just walked in, picked it up, and walked out? It's a box, empty box. You can just scan the empty box. Well, no, how, but that's, there was no barcode on it though because it said on the back this is a display copy. What, so you're saying none of them had barcodes on? No. So nothing no, Anything shop. that's too expensive, I would assume. Yeah. No, but no, but that's just what I'm saying. An iPhone X is their flagship thing. It makes the most money. So of all the things in the shop, they'd have that have a code on. So people can do that. So And that's a £1,000. But then you, pounds, so you'd still have to wait be. for someone to come and find you, though, if yes. it's still an empty box. You know, so yeah, it's, yeah, it doesn't even help. It's a scanning thing, but I'm saying... Surely they would have that logically thinking, speaking. So it must be more expensive than an iPhone X. I have no idea. I'm thinking like £700 maybe this thing you bought cost. Oh, no. No. It wasn't that expensive? No. No idea. And how, how, how does this thing not have a barcode on? Well, I mean... Because even iPhone accessories are expensive. Did you buy an iPhone accessory? Yes. Is it a leather case? You know what? I'm not saying. Let's move on. We've got other things to cover. I want to know. Well, you, you can find out and tell people next week. Because we have important shit we've got to get to. Okay, get to it then. Since you you said you bought you bought a subject to this cast. Yeah, I bought three topics because I'm the only one who actually does um does work. You literally refuse <laughs> my, comp, my, my subject every week. Because it's always a, a piss-take joke one. It's not. How's anyway, it here's my topic. topic. I want to know why... James has the stinkiest farts ever known. Oh, God, why? Why? Okay. Like, li 
James did a fart after last week's it, cast. That question was answered by the, the intro to this episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, last, last week we finished recording and James did a fart. It's just sort of normal business. Farts are quite regular around here. However, this fart, it created a wall in this room. <laughs> it didn't. They were it, exaggerating. No, it, it, it did. did. It there was just a point where, like, there was a, a theoretical line. And if you stepped beyond the line, then you're in for a world of hurt. Okay. The stench. I'm... Jesus Christ. No, honestly, it was... Jesus Christ. I smell a lot of farts, okay? My own, Jim's, Argy's. Argy says Argy has really bad farts. Yeah, exactly. So th you know how much this means for me to say this. Yeah. That cause... fart was the worst smelling fart I've ever smelled in my entire life. And that means a lot coming from me. So I smelt some real it, zingers. It, it was a fucking bad fart. But I'm pretty sure it's because of the food I had the day before. <laughs> Do you eat like, like a hyena or something? What? I can imagine hyenas having like stinky death farts. <laughs> that fart was particularly bad. That was like the only bad fart I, s I did that day. And it just happened to be one. How often there. do you fart in a day? Not that often. There you go. Is that it why? It all gets concentrated into two heavy payloads. Whereas... Instead of nice ones that are just always releasing that just smell of nothing but... Fart? Perfume? Yeah. No, you two have done some pretty bad ones as well. Nah, that's bullshit. No, you have. No, mine are nice. Mine are nice. Neither of yours are nice. Okay, then mine nice are really nice, nice after a coffee. Then they're, they're nice, nice in yours. comparison to the one I did last week. Doesn't mean they're nice. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Rotorua is nicer compared to the one. I uh, that one last I did week. last week just happened to be the most concentrated one I've done in a while. <laughs> Actually, F I. It was so say. fucking bad. I don't even know how to describe the smell. <laughs> what would you say? <laughs> it was more like rotten than than digested. It was like yeah. it was it, it smelled as if you could imagine a fart would smell if it was like trapped within something that had died mm. for a while and it had only just released. <laughs> so James is back from the dead. The stench of death lingered in the air. And it disappeared quite quickly. <laughs> no, it fucking didn't. It took ages. We had to go we had to leave the room because it just wouldn't go away. <laughs> After listening to Drake for a bit. That Probably shit was the nasty. Best thing we did that day. Yeah, we always do. We listen to Drake after every episode. But we should never meet Drake. Because Drake is cursed. We've already met Drake. We've interviewed him for oh, this yeah. actual yeah. show. Oh shit, yeah. I remember. That was talk about career defining moments. He he's probably the biggest Joe fan. <laughs> Straight up. And we're the biggest uh Drake fan. We could home he's meet. Ruben saw him live. Loved it. <laughs> and of really. Yeah. Is that two of three or one of three? That's two of three. What was the first one again? Lego channel. Oh. Boys. Jim, you're taking over. Well, you can't just do this randomly. No, you can't. So Jim, Jim is now becoming host because James randomly decided it 18 minutes in. It's just more comfortable over here, and this seat's really warm. <laughs> Good afternoon, morning, evening, or night, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to round two. Welcome to round two. Let's hear number three of two. Three. Number three of three. Number so, three. Um, for those who are watching the video version, the intro would explain a bit of the setup to this. But Jim and I discovered something on Netflix. One of the best shows we've seen in a while. It's called, I hate it. It's called Lava Island. Mm -hmm. At least every time we record something, you guys watch an episode of it or multiple. It's not true. Jim is obsessed with it. Jim loves it. No, I'm not. You I've seen no more than any of any of you. For example, no more than Alex. See, I don't go home and watch it. And Neither do I. Lava Island is a Netflix show based on what I think came off of YouTube. I think it was like a YouTube animated thing, just called Lava. Uh, the main characters are like 
They're lavas. They're like bug things. Mm -hmm. Little worms. One's a re little red worm that screams like a little girl, but is a boy. And the other one is like a yellow thing. Yellow worm. Bit bigger. That is a bit bigger and it farts. Then they both fart. Is it yeah. just the yellow one? I think it's just the yellow one that farts. Damn, James going in with that lava lore. Yeah. But the story of the show is that they're stranded on an island. No, but why Why is there, like, Jesus there? Is he, I haven't seen him in a That's single episode. Jesus. No, but as the they show goes along... No, look, listen, already the fact that James ran away in pure anger at the sight of lava... We wanted to. We wanted him to watch a specific episode so we could talk about it. But we tried to put it on, and he was like, "No, you are just children. I'll see you in seven minutes, and if it's not over, I'm gone." <laughs> yeah, you directly quoted me there. <laughs> <laughs> Am I wrong? No, no. Yeah, I. You, I just said you directly quoted. So instead me. of. Uh, Joining in so you could join in the discussion. You just came upstairs and did a fat shit in the toilet. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> do did a another fat shit. Yes, you fucking did. I did a fat <laughs> pee. Uh huh. Mm. Mm -hmm. I had to sell up the cast. You know, I'm 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 on that grind. Anyway. Okay. What's what is it about this live episode that you wanted me to see so passionately? Like, as the show goes along, there's only one season of it, and every episode. That's two seasons. Is it? There's yeah. a third in production, actually. Are you serious? Yeah. Fuck. How do you know that? <laughs> oh, I have no idea, you know. <laughs> the fact James has already seen, like, every episode is <laughs> quite weird. So I don't want to give it away that I'm a big Marvel fan. Okay, let's test your lava skills with this episode. No, but okay. I was trying to still set the skills. scene of the show to those oh. who don't understand. I see. I'll say it one more time. It's called Lava Island. That's Lava L-A-V-A. Not lava, as in L A V A. -E. No, it's L A R V A. Yeah, like lava, like, f like bug lava. Yeah. Lava. Yeah. See how much I know. I forgot the name. Of it. Lava Island. But as the show goes along, more characters are introduced. There's a crab that turns into a Gundam. There's a what? Jesus. Are you fucking serious? It turns into a it's Gundam. It's not Jesus. It's just some the guy. It's just no, this they guy. They designed after Jesus. No, they didn't. He's they wearing jorts. There's like enemy lava. There's a bird, and more, most importantly, there's a seal. Mm -hmm. There is a seal character who's introduced in Lava Island, and that was the episode we were trying to show you. Have you seen that episode? No. Great. So you haven't seen the episode we specifically want to talk about and well, wanted no, we, you we, to watch. We explained why I didn't. I didn't see it. Uh, what, so you haven't literally that, that no makes excuse. it okay? No, I'm not saying it makes it okay. You're like, oh, I've I've seen literally every episode. I know everything. That <laughs> yeah. You did not say that. You pretty much did. You said you've already seen it, so you're not gonna watch it. No, well, I didn't know. It was just a, as soon as you put on Lava Island, I just think it's the episode we have seen. Why would we rewatch it? Yeah. Why would we do that? There's like 20 episodes, and you'd think we'd go back and watch the two that we have watched. It you is the best three, anime, actually. though. It's probably the best anime ever made. No, it's not. It's not anime, Alex. You, you watch the episode we just watched and tell us it's not anime. That just, shit yeah. is anime. <laughs> Why is it anime? <laughs> Lava Island is the best anime. I yeah. Like, no questions asked. It's got... Just talking about Lava Island as a whole, it's got, like, these twists and turns and, like... You never know what, what is coming. I ain't gonna lie. It subverts. It doesn't only subvert, but it subvert subverts. It, it subverts. subverts the subverted expectations. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> it's honestly genius. I don't want to be the only one saying Lava Island is genius. Come Lava on, Island no, is genius. No, I, I know what's going on. You're trying to make this the next Madagascar. <laughs> no, that's, that's exactly no, what it's trendy. not Madagascar. No, it is. It's, it's the Madagascar phase is, is is coming to an end. So Alex needs to find a replacement. Can't do Kung Fu Panda because that's been around too long. So Alex is sliding in with the Lava Island. <laughs> we know that's how it is. That's how it's going. <laughs> I predict this. Sliding in with the Lava Island. Why can we not just like things? Yeah. 
I'm not saying Why does it have to be a part like... of a new, a new meme? Because literally <laughs> everything you do is that. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. Okay, Alex, when was the last time you mentioned Madagascar? Exactly. So, you... Last episode? No, cause that, <laughs> no, no, that was a question, so that doesn't count. Well, it literally does. I know your game. I've seen your cards, Alex. You've seen my card? I've seen your cards. Can we talk about a specific moment in the seal episode of Lava Island, please? Sure. So the seal, um, its final smash, if you will, is to <laughs> is to sing a beautiful song, a lullaby that makes all living things that can hear it just freak out. Not freak out. The opposite. It's Relax. like a Jigglypuff song. Like, it makes you love this seal, but in a non-sexual way. Okay, so do an impression of the song, then. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sound familiar? People? No. Sound familiar? <laughs> Who is familiar with the album My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy? Oh, oh yeah. this is why you wanted me to. <laughs> this uh, this fucking know. seal does the same thing. He's that spitting bars. Kanye literally sampled Lava Island for that. Yeah, this album. is. You sampled something from the future. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> or... Kanye really is a time traveler. Yeah. No, he he's such a trendsetter. He. He uh, sampled a future trend. <laughs> I'm gonna no, I'm gonna have to watch this now. You've peaked. See, this is why we. No, it's, it's too late. It. Yeah, you fucked it. You can go home and watch it. Oh. <laughs> if you're gonna he, fuck us over like pays this, pays ten quid for a Netflix subscription <laughs> so you can watch a seven-minute episode of Lava Island. No, now that you're spitting bars at me, and I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> you finna know we had to clap back. <laughs> booty clap back, booty booty. <laughs> it's the most fucked up story. I'm it's disappointed. It's a great episode you. though, and a all great... you had to say was Dark Twisted Fantasy, and I'd be like, and that would oh, ruin shit. the whole thing. Yeah. Okay, you you could have said something about Kim Kardashian, and then I would have watched it. What? Because he's she is married to Kanye. So but I would have been to like, end oh, the Love shit. Island discussion. There's this ep there's this like romantic episode. Oh, we've seen that one. I've seen that one. No, it's different. It, it Where hits... the yellow one is like upset that everyone else on the, the island has a yeah, lover. Yeah, don't spoil it too hard. Fine, I won't spoil it. People got to go watch this. But thing, it, it's so short. Every episode is like seven minutes long. So consider it homework. Mm. Go watch Lava Island and report back. If we're wrong, well, you just got suckered into watching Lava Island, and that's a funny prospect. <laughs> but if we're right, see, this is why it's Madagascar V2. If we're right, then you just watch Lava Island, and you are now part of the initiated. Mm -hmm. Even James is. James has watched Lava Island and Kung Fu Panda 2. No, but. Kung Fu Panda is, is fucking incredible. Love Island. Well, isn't. well, well. Maybe someone ain't so crazy. No, so, I, wait. I, so you're not willing for Lava Island to have the same treatment upon you? Do you remember all the all the all the flames you tossed towards Kung Fu Panda? I do, and we'll be back after these messages. Skidoosh. Jim likes it when I do that. Skadoosh. More like. Howdy, partner. Me, Andy. Me have shirts for sale. Check the description below. Now. Well, I'm going to do an impression of James. Kung Fu Panda 2 is one of the best animated movies in the ever. That's why it has an effect on me because it's in. Fucking incredible. See? There's nothing stand out about Love Island. That 
That's not true, dog. It's not. It's not Kung Fu Panda Two level. Yeah. No, I, and it's not. But it is its own thing. It is its own thing, and I appreciate that. The lore is actually incredible. Yeah, it's watching because Lava Island. There's the other show called Just Lava, mm-hmm. not Just Lava. It's called Lava. Um, and the, it, it appears as though there's a whole lore to be discovered in the original Lava. Yeah, so like it makes you want to go back and watch Lava. So you're saying you've seen Lava? No. I'm I'm saying oh, from this episode okay. that Alex was talking about. It seems like Lava Island is Breaking Bad and Lava is Better Call Saul. Yes. Or um, Lava Island is The Avengers and Lava is the original movies. The, the right. solo Marvel movies. Okay. That makes sense to me. What's your favourite episode from memory then, James, seeing as you're the lava, like, expert? To be honest, the two episodes I've seen are not that good, and I did not enjoy them. There's That's a fucking bullshit. surprise. It was the one that the whole joke was fart and being ill, and... Fart? So really funny then. <laughs> yeah, saying then, fart isn't funny. And then... That's it, I can't remember. See, they don't get... They don't have the impact on me, so I forget. That's because you've only seen the intro episodes. Yeah, I know, but you haven't convinced me to watch the other ones. Yeah, because you're so fucking whatever. Don't whatever me. This is the part of the show where we head over to the Jar Media Reddit and answer questions from the community. <laughs> um, let's spin the wheel and start with a a, a listener, shall we? Skip it, Oh wow, holographic feminist it landed on. Pride Month is coming up, they say. How will Argy and Match Max be celebrating? Um, by Ma- fucking each other, <laughs> gaily. How? Max won't be celebrating. He'll be locked in the basement for being. He'll gay. have a wank. One of those like wank bank memories about Argy. Yeah. Argy will just. And Argy will. Sing and sing. Yeah, no, I see that. Argy is a singer. Fuck me. Marmite up the bum says, was, run- was wondering if you had ever or would ever go on a lad's holiday together. If not, where would you go? What landmarks, events would you see? If not, if, love if Marmite. Okay. Well, <laughs> it was written really strangely, but you understand the question. We, we're we actually talking about it at the moment. We've been talking about... Well, I mean, like, it wouldn't be a... A lad's holiday. No, just you be know. us three. And we've been going on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> That's three Four lads going on holiday. Yeah. So, different. right, we've talked about, like, in the near future, I guess, in the next, like, year or two, going to America on a on a, on a a road trip in, like, a... We've tiered it. Like, the big, the big one is America. For, like, two, three, four weeks. A big five, four, six, five. seven, <laughs> eight weeks. Two years, Three, couple years, four, five years. So that's a big one. But that's before a, we, that, we, we want to work our way up to that. We need to do a few we, small We've ones. never b- been on holiday. We, we've never gone anywhere with either of us. Even to like small places, we just don't go. Well, I have with Alex. On, he's my brother. brother. Yeah, it's like only like last year did we actually start going to restaurants together because we had cars. So now it's like we've got. We've got and now that we have planes, we're very behind the curve. Yeah, loads of people do that as soon as they leave school, but we're, we've we been building up to it. First, we want to go to Thorpe Park to test the waters. I love roller coasters. Kind of scared of heights. So we just decided maybe that's... I have a irritable bowel syndrome. So we'll do that, see how much shit comes out of Jim's bum bum. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's what we're judging of, of if you can do these holidays. It's just it, Jim's... How much shit is relieved from my bowel. Yeah. Then, um... Amsterdam, which is going to be a difficult one for me. So many hookers to choose from. I know, it's just <laughs> like, oh god, I'm going to have to do a pick a mix. <laughs> uh, at me. You're so fucking misogynistic. Can we talk about that for a second? I'm not. Yep, go on. <laughs> not so, as everyone knows, uh, James is the most conservative member of oh Jar. Oh my god, you need to stop saying that. And unsurprisingly, it, it, he's horrifically misogynistic. No. Uh, you guys are definitely more than you, me. You hate women. No. 
just admit you get uncomfortable at the idea of a woman oh being in power of you. Being in power of me? Over you. That's I'm actually more comfortable with that than un uncomfortable. <laughs> so you're a cuckold then? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's not what that equals, Alex. Mr. If you don't if you don't say yes to being order being your order going wrong in McDonald's, you're a cuckold. I'm Alex, so they got my order wrong and I didn't complain. Wait, explain this. So James, you, James you, tweeted this you awful shot tweet. yourself in the foot. I didn't I, no, I didn't, didn't do this all awful tweet. I was sitting in so McDonald's. You, you, no, you'll no. let the business cuck you by spending no, no, money. No, no, there. Okay, this is what this is what it is. You can go to McDonald's and buy a burger for fucking ninety nine p. Right. That's nothing. If you buy that burger and they get it wrong and you complain, I think that's a bit ridiculous. It's fast food. It's not. Not if they get it wrong. Yeah. You have a right to. If yeah. You have a right. As long as you're polite about it. Like, but it's like it's McDonald's. It it's not, it's like, not a, an actual restaurant where you're putting down. You're spending a lot of money. You're buying really cheap, really crap. No, but here's here's the if, here's the difference though. Say what they got wrong was like they forgot to take the lettuce out or something. Like whatever. Yeah, yeah, whatever. For if me, you complain that, about that's that. More, that's ridiculous. That's more effort than it's worth to even complain about. Yeah, that's what I'm on about. That's that's why but I asked. O often the thing they do is they just don't put things in the order. I understand that. But that, that is that's not getting the order wrong. That's not giving you what you no, pay. That for. is giving getting yeah. your order. No, I, it's a it's a different level to it. I think getting your order wrong is it's like worse. They didn't put something in it. No, but what if what something. if getting the order wrong costs someone their arm? Yep. You for example, they have an allergy to the lettuce that they forgot to take out, and that's he touches that, the lettuce. That, that, and that, his that's arm a completely off. different case that wasn't asked in the original question. It's not going to be no, a fun it's, question it's, if you I just said it. order wrong. If I yeah, if I that's, say that's a wrong order situation. If someone gets your order wrong and you order lettuce, and then your arm's going to fall off if, if they put it in, would you complain or not? Because then the answer is yes, because you've lost your arm. <laughs> that's that's going to an extreme of the question. I just asked a basic question. Okay, say because I was in McDonald's. Say this they morning. didn't put any fries in your in the bag. So you're telling me you'd be go? Oh, I guess they forgot them. There you go, big business. Steal my fucking money. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I I wouldn't go get them. Do you know why? Their chips are terrible. I'm better without so them. So you just get okay. Well, no, that, I'm pretty I'm right sure then. that's what you did on your birthday this year, no. and you were like. No, nope, I got everything I was after. No, you didn't. Someone got your order wrong. You missed something and you were just like... What was I missing then? Oh, some, some, like, something shit. <laughs> it wasn't something that's worth fucking trying to get. There you go. So yet again, I'm right. No, you're not. Because you, you shot yourself on the foot. It's like, nope, you did. if I go to an actual restaurant and get my order wrong, I'll complain because I'm paying like 15 quid for it. But if I'm buying a three pound... So it's all right up, for... A business to rip you off if it's not expensive. What if the most you could afford was McDonald's? Then, I, then, then I completely understand that. Ah, uh, you, you, so you you shot yourself. You go, no, you're then. going too deep into my question. I was just curious because no, I was no, 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 you can just pick and choose no, no, which are not, bad. No, 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 they know that Burger King's the better place and you should always shop at Burger King because they actually make burgers. Or shop go to KFC. Burger King. Yeah. What the? Okay, now what were you actually talking about before we talked about me and McDonald's? Nothing. I think we exhausted that question. No, you're just, you're pulling at strings, lad. Is this Walter? Yeah, it's mine. Ali B 8 says... When will the Patreon goal for James releasing a dick pic be set, and for how much? I just sent me a DM asking for it. <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> Give me my water. Half back. a million. Um. Uh. Seriously, how much would you need to be paid to send someone a picture of your willy? No, not someone. That half a million. That's public. Just. I wouldn't show my dick publicly. I, I just not for any amount of money. No, that's bullshit. That is fucking okay. Bullshit. No, too conservative, I guess. No, no it's not, sh no. Sh <laughs> that question is shit because it's like if you <laughs> say to someone, oh okay, if you say Some to someone, if you say to someone, I'll give you a million quid to show your dick. You're stupid if you don't show your dick. 
No. But it's like if someone says, I'll show you dick for a thousand pounds, I probably would. <laughs> okay, let's say ten grand. Yes, because I could buy See? a car with that, and I can probably spend a lot, <laughs> okay. put it on the deposit. Five price. grand. Yeah, probably. Okay, two and a half grand. Is this to a one person? Yeah. For one, one person, yeah. Two, two and a half. Yeah. Two thousand. Yeah. One thousand. No. <laughs> One okay. and a half thousand. No. Two thousand. First of all, I wouldn't want to anyway because it's like, n nah, I I have problems with that, and I just don't want to get into that type of stuff. So I wouldn't just send my picture of my dick to some person, even even for that much. Cause, nah. So why did you say yes then? To because I mean, <laughs> ten thousand pounds is a completely different story. Who wouldn't? So you're a massive whore then? No, no <laughs> I'm not. I'd never, I'd never do it publicly. What if that. they they gave you the ten grand and then immediately after they just put it on? No, 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 no that's not happening. I don't, I don't morally agree with that. Yeah, but I mean, I'm saying. Oh, that's why I would you ask for more money. <laughs> that you'd have to no, get a contract. I'd, I'd sue them. That's yeah, I'd sue them. If they broke the contract, I'd sue them for all the Yeah, but the you'd money have to make a contract in the first place. And I can. Unless I'll go to a... a, a I Unless that counts the, as revenge porn, then, it, then then you could sue them. Exactly. You gave more money. That's what I'd do. Cause there you ain't, go. Ain't people, I'm not into people seeing that. Because of stuff that happened has happened in my life. Alex hates that... Oh, James hates that question, so... Well, you, you, you asked that specifically to me, but I think that's one no, of that, that bloke oh, okay. asked you. Okay, what about you? Would you? What, for 10 grand? Yeah. Alex? For 10 grand, yes. Okay. That's fine. That, yeah, end of. I, go. I ain't gonna lie. No, I would I. 10 cares? grand is a fuck ton. Yeah, it's just a willy. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> Make it 10 willy. plus a burger. Ooh. Well, and we're talking. Yeah, then you're getting fucking feet pics as well. <laughs> Oh no, because they just have to take a screenshot of the last jar cast. Because you pulled my socks off. <coughs> See, you've, you've lost me 10 grand there, Jim. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. You're really looking out for your bro. Okay, let's do one from... Oh. Weather Boy. Damn, my, ca my Calvin Klein. How's it going, my sweet jar family? Taika Waititi is going to be making an Akira adaptation. Do you think his comedic style approach makes for a good fit? I'm sure at least James has seen Akira. I've seen it as well. I'd like to ask one question back to this person. Yeah. What is Akira? James, explain what it is um, to, the, to the uninitiated. It's a set of like six or eight books that have been adapted into a movie and the movie is massively more famous than the books. It's like an animated movie. Yeah, that's in, in fucking incredible. The animation is just insane. Some it's not expensive. something you can adapt into real life. It's not, it's terrible. It's gonna be terrible. It's one. Yeah, of the I don't know how they could possibly do it. Like you can get a few things like that, like the motorcycle scenes. You could probably do. That's possible for quite a big budget. But like everything What's the point, passed. Though? The whole, whole reason that it was impressive was because it was animated. Because of how long they spent and the amount of money they spent on the animation. Like, just the same, like, iconic shots just being recreated in, like, CG. It's just like the Lion King thing again. Mm. Mm. But this time what? with comedy? Yeah, is is Akira funny? No. no. It's really dark, actually. Do you think Taika Waititi's will be funny? I think it'll be terrible. I don't know, I just have to see a trailer. It's one of those things I can't even yeah. like, imagine until... And it's either going to be like, huh, that looks surprisingly not as bad as I was expecting, or it'll be like, yep, this is exactly what I was envisioning. For I idea. think it'll be the same thing with the um, Sp Cowboy Bebop live adaption. Well, I think that's going to be shit. That is going that to has be way shit. less of a chance of being good. Yeah. What single Netflix adaptation of like an anime has it ever been good? They've done a few now, too. Love it. Mm. No, I think the oh no, live action ones. Then they've all been shit. But they've actually did an adaptation of what? Uh, what, what game was it? Castlevania. Yeah, Castlevania. Castlevania. The, the animation it's supposed that to be good. Even, yeah, it's supposed to be not not bad. 
Well, that will be that then, won't it? Basically, go watch Akira, and then forget about it ten minutes And later. how am I supposed to do that, huh? I don't know how to watch Akira. It's on YouTube, I'm pretty sure. Gebby has a question for us. Buy on Blu-ray. Support it. Bye. Gebby has a question for us. Hello, Gebby. Any particular things you guys want to see at E3 this year? Um, Half-Life 4, um... Left 4 Dead 4. That's a hard question. Because there's games I want. Well, we're going to see Fire Emblem. The new Fire Emblem we're going to see. There'll be Animal Crossing stuff. Isn't that game out soon? It's out soon, so there's going to be stuff it's probably about probably getting it. its own direct or something. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, then you've got Animal Crossing as well. Maybe they might do something about the new Smash character. Maybe leak yeah. it somewhere. Things you want to see is the question. So yeah, Minecraft, Steve, and Smash. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to see Smash because I love Smash. I just don't play it as much, but I just love it because I'm surrounded by you guys. Is love for it. Uh, Maybe like a. Is it, are we talking about like things we'd we'd love to see that have not been announced? So well, new anything, things. I reckon. Anything from E3. Well, obviously, I want to see what um, Halo Infinite looks like. Yeah, that would be nice. Do you think you will? I reckon there'll be another trailer. I think we'll know by the end of E3 if advanced mobility is going to be in it or not. Yeah. Um, I'm just trying to think apparently, of Apparently, Microsoft, I saw in a tweet, they said they've got the most first-party like, stuff to show than they've ever had before. Right. I don't know if that's a good no, thing. I'd like to see more info about um, the new um, Obsidian game. That we've only mm. had one trailer for, but I'd also want to know... Wanna Outer Worlds. Outer Worlds, but because that's obviously not exclusive, that's just a, a game they've been making for quite some time. I want to see something new from them. Now that they're with Microsoft, so I want to see some exclusive, maybe something, just like a, a trailer of something, like, something new, maybe they're working on, like CGI trailer, like not actual, just something, an announcement for yeah. something by them would be pretty good. There's not much I care about in like the gaming world at the moment. PlayStation isn't going to be there, is it? No, so, they're not going to be there. No, why not? Fuck knows, they're doing their own thing. Do you think we'll see a console? No. Yeah, really. I think they're probably ready for it now. They're, they've been, there's been a lot. I've been uh, reading a lot of stuff about the the PlayStation Five and Xbox One Two. What? What? If any, what? Which would you buy? <laughs> I neither. don't know because neither of them have been unveiled. I'm not gonna going going from this generation. Well, that's not fair. Not not Xbox. If you did that same thing at the end of the 360. PS3 one, hmm. and he would have just said, I guess 360, but then everything flipped around because the Xbox well, one Well, so that, so that means the smart thing to do would uh, would be to wait until like a year into the next generation. Yeah. I don't, I don't see do. myself buying, when the new console comes out, you know, when they get announced, when they come out next year, maybe, I'm not going to buy it. Because as we learned with the previous generation, you spend so much money up front and within a year the console's falling apart. Because of just how crap it was at launch. I just wouldn't I wouldn't put down like six hundred plus pounds on a new console. No, I the no, thing with the, the the this generation that we're in, the games that came out on release of it Shite. were fucking pitiful. So bad. There was only one good game on the release of both consoles and that was like the new Forza because I was like wow. There was mm. nothing there was no like Breath of the Wild. Or anything like no. that. No, there was nothing. It was and, kills in but there was nothing for a long time. Knack. Yeah. Like, I spent the first like two years of that that generation launch playing Forza. That's it. Didn't play any other game. Well, I didn't buy one for a while, but um, I just played Killer Instinct. That was the best game for me. That was a launch um, game as well. Yeah. And like, it was free. That's like, incredible. Character. And then they fucked up the MCC. Mm-hmm. They fucked Uncharted up Halo 4, 5. wasn't like anything that crazy. Mm -hmm. It wasn't it really wasn't until God of War. God of War, it changed and everything. And then Spider-Man. Yeah. And then, you know, post those two, there's been quite a few good games. Yeah. I don't know, we'll have to wait and see on that one. I just, I tried to get out of the whole console stuff now. You know, I've got a PC, I just don't really want to. I do find PC much preferable. 
because then it's like you don't care about anything else you just care about the games so yeah. if you need to do something to one of those games that's it, what you do it makes me more interested in um like ea ubisoft, ubisoft. Act do activision have their own thing no. yes activision as well then yeah it's it's like, i just hate all the games those studios make I, I, they're the only games I really play. I don't play any of the exclusives anymore. My Activision game is Sekiro. And My upcoming Modern EA Warfare. Ooh. Oh, shit, yeah. Yeah, we'll probably see Modern Warfare gameplay. Fuck's sake. So confusing. It is. Yeah, they, they've named, they've really done something stupid. so fucking dumb with it. They recently like released Modern Warfare Remastered like two years ago, and then they're releasing... They're rebooting that franchise. Yeah. So what happens when reboot. what happens in like f seven years and they remaster the One Warfare remastered? They remaster the remake. It's just such a valuable IP, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Whatever. Hopefully, hopefully, it's actually a good COD because the recent ones have just Who been cares awful. Anymore? I Fuck care. The the multiplayer needs to get away from this advanced mobility stuff. It just needs to be. I thought they did that though. Nah. They did with Black Ops. Black They've Ops done that with Black Ops, so they need to get away from that. They, they just, will, because it's Modern Warfare. Warfare. It just needs to be simple, classic. <coughs> you know, none of this... this I swear stuff. this is the card cycle every time. It is. What and is? we're going to complain about it when it comes out, so it's fine. It's like, we need to go back to blank. So then when they do go back to blank, then it does really well. But then the problems of that one are huge as well. So then it starts again, so no. as long as it's not the same. No, because obviously Modern Warfare, the original Modern Warfare, changed everything. Yeah. And then the sequel to that was just the World World War Two thing. That changed everything. Yeah, which everyone was down for because it was like, yeah, they're going back to their roots. No, Remember? because they'd only gone away from their roots for one game. So it wasn't a big I think deal. think we're talking about a different one. No, no, at launch, people really didn't like the fact that World War Two was going back to World War Two. They they wanted it to be what, Call of Duty World War Two. No, it's the one that came war. out like no. a couple World years ago. World of War. World of War. People were upset. Uh, no, I'm not World talking about that one. Well, no, but you're talking about COD saying it. No, I'm going in the timeline of when yeah. they came out. But you're saying that they. Yeah, now in the last like five years. No, no, but what you just said is they were upset. No, I was saying people were pleased when like the World War Two one was announced to be World War Two. Yeah, that one. People yeah. liked the idea of that. But that one wasn't good. That's yeah, what I mean. Sledgehammer made it. It wasn't a good card. That's that's the problem. The campaign was just garbage. Sledgehammer have never made a good card. No. Aren't they There's the only one, one good card studio in a Treyarch. And they're not doing Monolith. Well, did you see this stuff about. Um, they've put forward the ne next Black Ops because they like cancelled the Sledgehammer one that was in development? Really? So now the next Black Ops has a year less of development. Uh oh. Black, that, Ops, that, Black Ops 4, I never played, but it really seemed like it just didn't have enough content. Yeah, they, they put too much into the um, Blackout mode. Yeah. yeah. We spent too long on game bullshit yeah. now, anyway. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited for Modern Warfare. You're the only one. No, I'm pretty sure I'm everyone's fucking hyped about it. If people I'm seeing it on learn. Facebook, Alex. People actually never no, If I'm seeing it on Facebook, people are pretty pleased about it. So I've one of the Jacks says. Why do you eat your kebabs with a knife and fork? Why would you do that? Buck up your ideas and eat it with your hands like real lads. I'm so disappointed that I might have to remove my Patreon pledge unless you provide me with a good answer. Uh, how can you pick up a fucking kebab? You must have- And the, don the, 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 the pitter's at the bottom and it's not even in the pitter. It's just on top of it. You're gonna pick it up and it's gonna go fucking everywhere. You'd have to eat it like a caveman. Like Maybe, maybe other- Kebab shops are more stingy, but no, Sammy he sure. piles that yeah, shit on. Yeah, and then sauce at the end, and it's just like a no, fucking no, no, mountain. No, Sammy, of Sammy goes fucking hard. Like you yeah. can't if you close if you open a lid, it fucking goes over because it's fucking jam packed. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure other kebab places they cut the pit and put it in it. Mm -hmm. Sammy just throws the pit at the bottom to absorb all the fucking sauce. Fucking, and then you get the beat. juicy treat at the bottom. It's like a dessert. Yeah. So obviously, if it was like an if it was like a burger type deal where you could use your hands, we would use our hands. Yeah, yeah. obviously, I would love it then. But Sammy does it. Different. But why do you think Sammy's so popular? Because he just he knows the fucking kebab. He's got his own zone. Yeah, his own zone, if you will. You just can't pick it up. With all the sauce on top, you would... It would no, it's yeah, not one thing. It. It's impossible. 
Your Mum 791 asks, if you were a writer for the Funko Pop movie, what would the plot be? Um, so, the Alex the Lion Funko Pop, the, uh, Marty. Deadpool Funko Pop, mm-hmm. and no, it'd be the a- Venom on uh, Gloria Funko Pop, which would, wouldn't be one that already exists, but would be created for the movie. No, no, what you want to do is it would be, you know, it'd be this, like, um, Colosseum, where all these bad guys and good guys are fighting, and then this giant floating ball in the sky shoots at all the people and makes, turns them into Funko Pops. And then they all have to join together to make themselves... Bar- bought. They have to be sold to humans. No, but then they have to join together to try and make themselves you know, normal again. That's my one. Now here's the most likely plot of that movie. Is that actually a thing? Yeah. Oh, what? It's being developed. Um, Picture this. There's like a Funko Pop world... But there's like a MacGuffin, like some powerful device that like an evil P- Funko Pop character. No, make it be like some of the Suicide Squad, Thanos, like a bunch of villain Funko Pops. Like the most obvious shit, like the 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 enemy from Game of Thrones, like the Night King, have the Night King be in there. All of these famous villains from the past few years. They steal something, it opens like a portal sucks a bunch of Funko Pops into, drumroll please, the real world. So then you have James Marston and he's just doing some gardening and the, the portal opens near him. Boom, 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 boom. Bunch of Funkos go flying into his garden. Then you get the classic scream, scream, scream. And then have the, you know, the slow realization of what's happening and then Deadpool pop, pop, pop vinyl talking to James Marston. And you know, just antics in the real world. We got to get back to our world, while Harley Quinn and the Suicide Squad and Thanos um, are trying to be evil. And then, and then they fail, and that's why we've got Funko Pops in the world. <laughs> if they really wanted to go hardcore with the ending, yes, it will be something like that. Trust me. No, there'll be an OC. There'll be an original Funko Pop, Funko Pop. Yeah, they so they can sell it. That's disturbing. <laughs> That's the OC Funko Pop, because I've never seen that design before. Must be an OC. De- Deanna BB can end this cast. Worst American pop song. Uh, Baby by Justin Bieber? That's a That's an original one. Um, um, Little Nash, Old Town Road. No, fuck you. That's not the worst pop song of all time. <laughs> no, it's um. I think it's that Taylor Swift song. Really? Bad Blood. No, not Bad Blood. Um, look what you made, look me, what you do. made me do. I think look that's what... one of the worst songs ever ever conceived. Um, yeah, American that's that's bad. Pop songs. What about that Katy Perry song, Jim? Yeah, never, it, over, never really over. <laughs> yeah. How does it go? I literally don't even... It even just came it. out, and it has the worst chorus from any song I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> just because it's over doesn't mean it's really over. actually sounds like that as well. It legit does. I'll play it after this, but... It is so fucking bad. Go on the video and dislike it on YouTube. <laughs> James? Give us a proper answer and, and take us home. I can't remember any American pop songs. Fuck's sake, dog. So beat it by Michael Jackson. <laughs> hey, you can't say that word here. <laughs> well, thanks for listening or watching episode 169, Sex. Mouth sex. Uh, 69 plus 100 equals... This episode. Thanks for watching, thanks for supporting us, and we'll see you On the next, next time. Angry Joe Show. <sighs> thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>